make the guitar. Mm -hmm. After they're bent, this happens to be a cutaway uh, guitar, which this designates the cutaway, this area in here, so you can reach up and play in this area. Mm -hmm. After that's done, these blocks, this block up here, which is made out of mahogany, and there's another block down here, which is made out of mahogany, are glued into the sides to hold it in shape. So mm -hmm. now, after the glue dries, we have the guitar, it's uh, pretty well in shape. Then this other thing here is called the lining. Okay. This is glued on to hold the top and back onto the sides. We need gluing surface. Okay. So this gives us some gluing surface all the way around both sides. Here's the back. Mm -hmm. Around that side too. Now inside you see these little pieces. These are mahogany also. These are side braces to prevent uh, damage from occurring from an impact to the side, like if you banged it against the table oh, or see. your like knee. Like a little strut in there. Yeah, mm. and that's what they're for. They're, they're for uh, preventing cracks, and they work quite well. All right. After this is done, the right. back is then formed. That is the back? This is a roughed out back. This is made out of curly maple. And you can see these inlay stripes inlaid into the back. We make them also. And on the other side of the back are braces. Now the braces are there for two reasons. One is to strengthen the back so it doesn't break. Mm -hmm. uh, two is to tune the back. As we add wood to this, and by carbon, you can see these are roughly carved out. Yeah. And these will be finished, scraped, and sanded. And as I do that, I can tune this to a particular note when you tap it. Hmm. Now, the whole instrument is done that way, except for the neck, because most of the time you can't do it with the neck because you're making it to a specific size to fit someone's hand. But everything else can be done that way. Now, the front goes, uh, probably so designed very similar to that? Front is designed similar, yes. Mm -hmm. That over there. This is the front or the top. The top is made out of German silver spruce. It's about an eighth of an inch thick, same as the sides and the back. As you can see, there's, a, uh, there's an inlay glued in here, and this will be all sanded down. This is in a rough form. And uh, this inlay, these little white lines around the edge are ivory. The wood is burl walnut, and the little clovers in here our snail shell, and they're inlaid into the Isn't top. That's something. Yeah. Now, from there we go to uh, the, the other that's side. Assembled. Oh, I see. I the other that. side yeah. is again we have braces. They're there for structural reasons, and they're there for controlling tone. So they're again they have to be placed in specific areas, and they're shaped in various ways to, again to not take enough wood off to damage the the structural integrity of the instrument but take enough wood off so the top will respond well. And you can do that by flexing it. You can bend it in your hands, and with enough experience, you have a pretty good idea of what it's going to be like. After uh, these are roughed out, these will be all s scraped down and sanded, and then the top will be tuned again, so when you tap it, it'll produce a note. Usually, same note as the back? Same note as the back, usually A. Tuned to A. Mm -hmm. After that is done, the top and back are glued onto the guitar.